All right, so I'm going to show how to replace the battery on this iPhone 7. So you're going to need the screwdrivers. This is a Pentalobe 0.8 or P2 screwdriver. You also need a Tri-Wing uh, 0.6 or Y000. And then you also need a PH or JIS 0 screwdriver. All right, to make this easier, I used a thin pry tool here. Um, though you can do this with a suction cup if your screen isn't all cracked. All right, and then I'm gonna use this just to make it a bit easier. This is just a phone stand. It's a cheap thing that I got from Daiso. It's like $1.50, but anyways, so then the battery comes with this adhesive stuff. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is remove the screws from the bottom using the uh, Pentalobe 0.8 or P2 screwdriver. All right, so we'll just remove those two screws. You wanna keep all the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. Oh, and of course, if you haven't turned off your phone, make sure you do that as well. To do that, just hold the power button on this side, and then it will show swipe to power off. So I already did that. All right, so now we're going to remove or open up the screen here. So to do that, I just use a thin pry tool between the metal frame and the plastic part of the screen. So I just get in there, and then we're just going to lift this up slightly okay once we do that we're going to work our way over down the side and then we're just going to cut the adhesive through the side here okay so just like this on the side it actually has a metal bracket that keeps you from pushing the tool too far but over here there's no bracket like that so you want to be careful not to push the tool too far underneath the screen because then you can damage the connectors for like the home button and things like that and the home button if you damage that connector you're never going to get the touch id back all right so let's go ahead and work our way up the other side here okay same thing all right again you can do this with a su suction cup you will lift this side but it's a little bit risky because the cables for the screen go across sideways here so you'll see once we get this open, all right, so now that we got all of this up, I'm going to use my fingernails down the side here while I kind of pull this back. Um, we are going to remove this adhesive stuff here. Okay, so here you can see the cable connector I was um, mentioning. So if you're not careful and you just pull this out, you can actually damage the um, cables and then you'll have to replace the screen. All right, so once we lift it up like that, then we're going to work our way over to the top. You can use the tool as well up here okay so we're just going to work our way over the top as well and we're going to try and pull the screen slightly down okay so let's go ahead and work our way over okay again working our way along the top okay so we're going to slightly wiggle and pull the screen down here and then we're going to kind of um, open it up like a book so this is the hardest part just because the adhesive up here kind of holds pretty strong. Um, but anyways, just work it down and then slowly flip this over like a book here. You can see it's kind of coming up, but it's still somewhat stuck. So there's still some adhesive holding here. All right, I'm gonna open it up a bit more and keep working our way down a little bit more. It's a little bit tough. All right, there we go. And then, now that we've got that, we're going to slowly open it up like a book here. All right. You want to be careful because there's these little metal latches that get caught as well. Again, we're going to take this adhesive stuff out. Okay. So the, water, the phone's not going to be water resistant anymore with all these seals gone. All right. As far as I know, there's not a good way to ensure there's a good seal. So if you're doing this, make sure not to get your phone dunked in water, okay? Because there's a good chance it's going to get screwed up. All right, well, this kind of adhesive is kind of stuck there, so we're going to leave it. Just make sure that the adhesive isn't forming like a big lump. Let's go ahead and remove the white layer of this adhesive as well. Okay. go too much adhesive here so we're gonna be doing it the easy way with the with that phone stand all right you can also do this with your wall and maybe like a book or something whatever works okay let's see if I can get more of this adhesive out it's kind of peeling up okay 
So we're going to get all this adhesive up. All right, so the thing we're going to do with this stand here, we're going to use this so that we can actually keep the phone slightly open like that, all right? As you can see, it makes it a lot easier. If you want, you can also like tape the screen over the edge here, so that way it doesn't just fall over on its own. All right, so basically you would get some tape and wrap it over this way. Um, I'm not gonna do that, but we'll see here. Okay, so inside the screws we're going to have to remove here are the tri-wing screws here, okay? So the Y000. So let's go ahead and remove those four screws. And you wanna, again, be careful. Keep all the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. You don't wanna mix them up. If you mix them up, you can actually damage the phone. All right, so we're gonna get all these out. Let me actually zoom in a bit more and show the part that I'm removing right now. All right. As you can see, this phone stand makes it a lot easier to work on. Normally, if you do this, you'd have to kind of hold the screen up the entire time at the correct angle. And then you have to be careful not to break all the little cables. All right, so now that we got all the screws out, we're gonna lift this metal plate up, okay? Just get underneath, it might be stuck a bit, so you wanna be careful, okay? Wow, this one's stuck on there super strong for some reason. Okay, let's go ahead and go under, here we go. So I went over this way and kind of twisted a little. Sometimes the foam pads under here get stuck on it, so you kind of have to um, rotate this a little bit sideways like that. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to disconnect the battery connector right there. So the battery connector is here. I'm getting people messaging me, but I need to finish this repair. So there's the battery connector, we disconnected it. After you disconnect that, you're gonna wanna press and hold the power button, so we can let the screen close actually. And then just press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds. This will drain any power on the board and make it safer to work on. Since we're mainly just working on the battery, it's not that important to do this, but it's better to be safe than sorry, so I do it anyways. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and open this up again. Again, you want to be careful with those little um, the metal frames on the right hand side. It kind of gets caught in between the frame and then it's hard to open it. So just be careful opening that. You want to lift it up slightly to get that out. Okay, so to get this one out, this Taptic Feedback um, motor here um, kind of gets in the way. So we're going to actually take that out. It'll help a little bit, but not 100%. So we go. I'm going to hold this down and then we're going to remove these screws here. Okay. That's for the Taptic engine. All right. This is what makes the vibration. If you break this, then your phone won't vibrate anymore. Okay. Again, you want to keep all the screws in order. There's two on that side and then one here. Okay. I'm going to move this up a little so it doesn't flip over. Okay. There we go, so we got all those screws out. And then this thing, you can actually flip it up slightly out of the way, but again, there's a cable attached down there, so you wanna be careful, okay? So we're just gonna kind of lift this up and out of the way a little bit. You can actually like flip it over. There we go. And then to um, remove this thing, we're basically gonna use some tweezers and roll it up like a spaghetti. So let me show you here, okay. So first thing we're going to do is pull this tab out. You can see these little black tabs. They're covering, covering the white adhesive. And these are stretch pull adhesives where you want to pull it straight back. If you pull it up, it's not going to come out. So we actually have to pull it straight back. So I'm going to get the tweezers because it makes it easier. So here you can see we can pull this. So if you pull this, it's a little bit difficult. So the easiest way is actually you kind of just roll it on the tweezers. So you just twist it like this up here and then you kind of have it low. So when you have it low, it, it allows it to pull it straight back from where the battery is. Okay. If you pull it up, it won't come out. You want to keep this low. Okay. And this is going to be a little bit of a pain. It would be nicer if the Taptic engine could come out all the way so you didn't have to stay so close because otherwise you can actually just pull it straight up. It'd be so much easier. But anyways, we're just gonna keep rolling this thing up. 
Okay, this is the safest, easiest way to do it. So we're basically just rolling the entire adhesive strip onto there. If you want, you can try and do it more, see like that. And then you can just roll it all on. Just pull it. You just want to be careful with the taptic feedback motor. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then now we're just going to take this stuff off and throw that away. And we're going to do the same thing with this side. Okay. It's a little bit more difficult because this thing's more in the way. It's lower. But we'll do what we can. All right, so same thing. Just grab this stretch adhesive. And you want to be careful not to puncture the adhesive. All right, and we're just going to roll it on, pull it back, roll it on. Pull it back, pull it on, pull it back. Again, you want to be careful with that motor. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> that one completely tore. Now this is going to be a pain. I was trying to do it faster, and now we're going to have some trouble here. So because that thing went in there, I'm going to tape this on just to make it easier to work with. So I'm going to get some tape here. I wasn't being patient and it tore and now it's going to be somewhat of a pain but uh, that's good because then you can see the trouble that most people will go through it doesn't always work out perfectly all right so I made this tape and then I fold it fold it over a little bit so it's not sticky on that end so that way I have a way to release it and we're just gonna tape this over here okay so now the phone will kind of hold itself in place and then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Okay, my customer is waiting outside. Hopefully, he's not going to be wondering why it's taking so long. Oh man, I'm getting like so many messages right now. What is going on? Okay. So we're going to tape this over this way. And then we're going to tape this over to the other side as well. So here you can see now the phone will hold itself in the position we want. Then we can kind of get in here. We can maneuver this a little bit better and see if we can somehow grab a piece of that adhesive that's under there. If we're lucky, we can pull out a piece of that adhesive and then it'll be a lot easier to get out. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a huge pain. So let's see here. Can I pull this up? Let me try with my better tweezers here. You can get a better grip, but I don't know if I'm able to grab a piece of the adhesive there. Let's see here. Kind of got a piece, but it got sucked back in. Oh man, this is going to be a pain, guys. <laughs> so I'm pulling the battery up slightly, and we're trying to get underneath to grab a piece of the adhesive there. Come on, there we go. So now we've got a piece of the adhesive out. And let's go ahead and try and pull it and hopefully it doesn't tear again. Okay, there we go. It got caught on the plastic of this piece. So here you can see it's coming out. And I'm gonna try and go slow and be very careful here. Again, you wanna try and pull it as straight back as possible. It helps to, while you're pulling it up, you can actually push down on it and that will help, basically it flattens it and it helps it come out. So here you go. You see it's coming out slowly. It's getting caught on the adhesive underneath here, so that's kind of a pain. But, uh, we're gonna keep going. Oh man, it's getting caught on the black plastic adhesive there. Come on, let go. Shoot, there we go. There we go. All right. Okay, so now that we got that out, we can go ahead and flip this back over. If you want, you can flip the Taptic engine back over, get that all lined back up. Let's go ahead and remove this tape here that's on the battery. Okay, open this up. Pull this back and pull the battery out here. So here we go, we got the battery out. Okay. Set that adhesive aside. 
Now the replacement battery. A lot of times it will come with a clear thing on it. Let's actually zoom out so you can see a bit better. Okay, so to remove that, I just hold the clear thing and then I push on the bottom here just to slide it up slightly. Once you slide it up slightly, you can actually pull the battery out from this sleeve. Oops, am I going the wrong way? Okay, you wanna actually push it down, not up. So we'll push this down here, and then we'll grab the bottom of it and pull that out just like that. All right, so just like this. Oh no, I'm getting more calls. Um, all right, let's go ahead and apply, well, let's apply the adhesive after. So first thing we're gonna do is test fit the battery. So you wanna plug the battery in first here, like that, and then push the battery in over to the side. And then once you do that, you can drop it in. There you can see the battery fits perfectly. Now we're gonna pop the battery connector back out. I am going to have to stop the recording and answer all those calls and we'll finish the repair in a bit, all right? So after you pop it out, of course, make sure you press and hold the power button again, about 15 seconds just to drain any power. And yeah, all right, I'll see you guys in a bit. I need to answer my calls and then we'll finish putting the new battery in, all right? So yep, just hold that 15 seconds, drain it, make it safer to work on. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. Okay, so we got the battery lined up. We're gonna set this aside. We don't need the pliers anymore. We'll set that aside. Now we're going to apply the adhesive, so the new one. Make sure that you're applying it to the back of the battery, not the front, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna remove this blue layer. So the way you do that, just get this and you wanna roll it back. While you're rolling it, you wanna apply pressure. So I'll use one finger to pull this back and another to press down on top. This will prevent bubbles from forming in the adhesive and will prevent it from pushing, the battery from pushing up on the back of the screen. All right, so just like that, there we go. Toss that, all right. So again, make sure that this these two white tabs for these small pieces are facing up because that's gonna wrap over the top. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this like that, line that up. And then we're gonna slowly drop this down and then push pressure on it just to get the adhesive all across, just like this. All right, then we're going to get these blue tabs out as well. You wanna be careful with these that you don't stretch it too much. Okay, so just try and peel it out carefully. All right, get both of them. Just like that. Now that you've got both of, the, both of those, you're gonna take this pink one, pull it up and wrap it over the back. Just like that and press it down and there we go. So now you have those two release tabs and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other side, with this side. We're gonna roll this backwards and keep pressure on top while we're pulling this back, okay? Again, this will keep the adhesive flat on the battery. So I'm gonna do that and just roll it back just like this, okay? You can see it's actually still forming some small bubbles, but hopefully it won't be too bad. You can try and push those bubbles down. Okay, and there we go. Let's go ahead and put the battery in. So it's a little bit tricky. You wanna make sure to keep it held up while you plug this connector in. So plug that connector in, make sure it clicks into place right. Hold that connector down and then push the battery again over to the side. And while you're doing that, you can drop it in. And there we go. Got the battery in place, okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and put back all the screws for the Taptic engine. Okay. Just like that, tighten it into place. All right, make sure that the screwdriver isn't skipping too much. If it's skipping, you wanna put more pressure down onto it because if the screwdriver skips too much, you can damage the screw and then you won't be able to tighten or remove it. All right, last screw in for that Taptic engine. There we go. All right, so now we're going to get the screws in for this bracket that goes on top. We're gonna switch back over to the Y000 or uh, um, tri-wing 0 0.6 all right now let's go ahead and get these screws in so I'll get this one Lined up right. there we go we're gonna loosely fit it first so that way we can maneuver it and get all the screws in okay 
Okay, that one there. Again, we're just loosely fitting these screws right now. Okay, and last one. Now we can tighten them all into place. Just like that, and like this. Like this. And the last one. All right, now that we got all those screws in, let's go ahead and peel this tape off. All right, just like this. All right, we're gonna fold this closed. To close the screen, you wanna get the top half in first. So you do that by lifting the bottom in up slightly, pull it back. All right, get it like that, line it up, slide it upwards. There we go. Now that this is flush, you're gonna hold on to this like that. And then with the center up, you're gonna go ahead and push this side down. There we go. And then you can go ahead and work your way up the center. And there we go. So we'll power it up, make sure it works. It might need to charge. Oh, nope, it's good. So there we go. We're just going to put back the um, Pentalobe 0.8 or P2 screws now, and we're good to go. All right, so let's get these two screws. Grab that, line it up. Tighten that down. All right, the other one. Like that. And then tighten that down. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right, bye. All right, looks good.